What is up, everybody? Welcome to your daily dose of awesome. Your last 15 minutes of daily motivation, inspiration, and education so you can get your day started right. We are broadcasting live from our Fast Track to Freedom workshop. Say hello to everybody here. skills I can sit here and hold this all day long. Awesome. So so guys as a chef sits back down because I doubt she's gonna hold it up the whole I'm day. not <laughs> so the camera's orienting so we're actually gonna be doing one of the lessons we do here at, at uh, our fast track to freedom workshop uh, with all these wonderful people ranging from all different levels of experience in the home business and online space uh, one of the key lessons we do is on on finding uh, identifying and speaking to your target market. Uh, oftentimes when we do advertising, uh, we, we tend to, if we're inexperienced with advertising and marketing, we tend to use language that the, our, tar our intended target market doesn't get. We need to basically learn to get in the mind of the person you're speaking to, the prospect you're going after. And depending on where they're at, they're gonna you know, view the world and use language that's different. Uh, specifically, I want to actually focus in on three key markets that a lot of members in our community focus on. Uh, that's the network marketing market, uh, affiliate marketing market, and the uh, market I lovingly call the cubicle slave market. Um, this is essentially anyone that's looking to get out of their nine to five job. Um, it doesn't necessarily have to be somebody that works in a cubicle, but uh, you know, I, I go after the cubicle. I speak like a cubicle slave because I used to be one. And so these are the markets I want to talk about today. Now, if you're new to our broadcast or if you need to get a marketing pro in general, then I highly recommend you go to the description in this video and opt into our free 10 day, it's actually now a video course, our uh, online recruiting and marketing bootcamp. If you're in the network marketing space, it's going to tell you exactly how it is you can, you can passively generate uh, prospects and leads for your business as opposed to active prospecting, which is what most of you are, are taught now. And then also, if you're new to this broadcast and want to be, be able to get notifications every time we go live, we won't always be doing it from, from this workshop uh, in, in this manner. I'll, most of the time, it's basically done from my home office with a special guest. But if you want to be notified, in the top right corner, if you're watching on, on this on your mobile device, top right corner, click on it, a little ellipsis symbol will show up. It'll open a menu where you can like uh, our fan page, which will unlock all our content, and then also you'll be able to turn on notifications uh, and specifically notifications for live posts or videos. If you watch this on desktop, just click on our, our logo right above the description. It'll take you to our fan page and you'll be able to uh, like the page and on that same button, you'll be able to uh, open a pull down menu and turn on notifications there as well. With that said, let's hop in right into this lesson. Uh, this will be a little bit longer than normal. It won't actually be 15 minutes. We got a uh, half hour allotted for this time. I probably used up about five minutes already, so the next 25 minutes or so. So fair warning for those of you who are watching. With that said, any questions? Ready to go? <laughs> so speaking to your target market, when you're marketing online, well, even if you're doing you know, free strategies, whether you're uh, writing a blog post, writing an ad, uh, sending an email to somebody, you, you can't be speaking to them from your perspective. Uh, whenever you speak to somebody from your perspective, you're, you're probably going to you know, say a few things that fly over their head. Um, and especially, especially if you want to attract people with certain problems. People in the network marketing space have uh, a particular set of unique problems that's, that's specific to a network marketer. Uh, someone in the, in the online marketing or affiliate marketing space, they have a whole other set of concerns, especially if they're, you know, they're brand new or up and coming. You know, what they're thinking about, the problem they're looking to solve and the desired outcomes that they want are going to be different. And somebody in the cubicle slave uh, market has no idea about this, these two worlds, but they also have their unique set of problems. And if you're offering a solution to each of the problems, then, uh, then, then that's, you know, that's how you choose who you want to target. But you have to speak to them differently. 
So what we do is we, I, I usually create a chart like this uh, that has four columns. The, the first column is actually the target market. The second column is I'm trying to define their pains and struggles. I'm also wanting to find their desire, what they desire in their life or their desired outcomes. And then finally, the last column is I try to identify words that are specific to that target market. That, that words that are used, that people in that target market use to communicate with each other, but that other people won't necessarily get. For example, I'll just give you a quick example here. Uh, you know, prospecting and recruiting. People in the network marketing space know what that is. When you talk to a cubicle slave, they won't know what that means. Talk to recruiting for what? They know what the words mean, but they don't know what the context for it. Does that make sense? All right, so let's let's first focus in on the network marketing space. If we're you know, using attraction marketing, uh, one of the most common things to do is, as opposed to, to be speaking and start forming relationships with random, random strangers, uh, we want to form relationships with people that are already in the industry. This is, of course, a long-term long -term strategy where we're forming alliances, relationships, and, and who knows, eventually in the near future, you may want to you know, partner up and work together in the same company. But if we're going after network marketers, what are some of the pains and struggles that are unique to network marketers? People talk to you. Yeah, no, no, pains. That's a desired outcome, actually. You see the difference? Bills. Recruiting. Huh? And they have bills. They have, they have bills, yeah. And they have, what struggles? Recruiting. Or pains, no. No, no, no. no. Time. Struggle. Struggle, negative. Mindset. Kidding. That they're aware of. Rejection. Rejection. So that's important, what they're aware of. Yeah. So what they're aware of, they don't know they have a shitty mindset. They think their mindset's awesome, it's everybody yeah. else that's a problem. Yeah. So what are they what else? Fear getting avoided. Yeah, fear what? Yeah. Fear being judged, that's rejection so what else? Finding enough people to talk to. What's the very outcome? Lack. Huh? Their struggle is that they don't have people to talk to. They, they don't, okay, no one to talk to. But that's still, that's still, that's still desired outcome, but let's see. Uh, they want people to talk to. Okay, what else? Not having a skill set. They don't know that. Fear? No time. Huh? No. Yeah. No time. Yeah. Really? Disapproving spells. Yeah. Yep. Negative spouse. What else? No money. Huh? No money. No money? How about they hate cold calling? <laughs> NFL. Or hate, pro hate, they hate cold calling or calling people period. No friends left? <laughs> NFL? Yeah. <clears throat> I mean, NF NFL is actually here. <laughs> What else? But you know that's too, that's that's a big point too. What else? Anything else? Spending more than they're making. Yeah. So <coughs> spend more than they make. All right. Let's leave it at that. There's a lot more we can add in, into this. So again, we, we guys we just went into an exercise. We guys were were talking about desire and outcomes. Not about the pain, and there's a difference, and you want to create the distinction uh, for a reason that I'll show you at the end. But now this topic is desired outcomes. What do they want? What are they looking for? More people to talk to. Uh, more more sales. Prospects. 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 Yeah, I can just pretty much delete this entire thing and say prospects. Sales. <laughs> Cross stage. Prospects. Mm -hmm. Right. Customers, recognition. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, watch stage. Can invest investment. Rank rank up. Yeah, more money. More money. Residual. Residual. Very great. Huh? Free trips. Free trips. Trip to job. Mm -hmm. Fire boss. <laughs> more time. Huh? Time. Time. Yeah. <coughs> What else? Vacation. Financial freedom. Free financial freedom. Security. Be happy. 
Let's, let's make it specific to this niche because everyone's so happy. <laughs> so, what else? The stage, how is that? The what? Nothing. Oh. Go on vacation. Ah. <laughs> Do you want prospects, recruit? Do you want to learn how to, how to close? Or yeses. Get yeses, so that's closing. Um, so, you guys get it, right? Mm -hmm. yeah. Now, what language is specific to the network marketing industry? So prospect, we talked about NFL, no offense for Dev Club, uh, prospecting, downline, team, downline, okay. downline, upline, auto share groups, recruits, back office, back office, duplication, Three foot rule. duplication. <laughs> auto ship. So duplication can also be here, right? Mm -hmm. Depending on where they're at. So they haven't sponsored a single person, they don't care about duplication yet. So you see there, who, are, who, what type of networker is most likely to care about duplication? One that's actually selling more. Yes. <laughs> so someone that's actually making a little money. You know? mm -hmm. So, but yeah, duplication. So what else? Somebody said auto ship. Auto ship. Yeah. The three foot rule. Yeah. On party. Foot rule. Home party, comp plan. Okay, great. So this is the exercise you want to do every single time that that you're thinking of, of going after a particular target market. You got to be able to identify what their what their pains and struggles are, what problems they have, uh, what desired outcomes they want, what do they want, and then also how do they speak, how do they talk, the lingo that's that's unique to them. And this, this is going to become very, very clear, uh, even more clear when we talk about affiliate marketing. Because a lot of you are network marketers, but a lot of you have also got into the internet marketing, affiliate marketing space, which is why you're here, right? Mm -hmm. So, unique to this market, what pains and struggles do you deal with? Technology. Technology. Traffic. Technology. Traffic is a desired outcome. Overwhelmed. <laughs> Technology, overwhelmed. <laughs> process. Huh? The process of it all. Is that how the funnel? Is that how you funnel? Mm -hmm. Oh, well that's so. I'm gonna, I'm gonna start to write both as the essay. So you guys have to understand the distinction. Sure, Traffic is a direct outcome. They want a funnel to sales funnel. What else? They don't want to be both parties. <laughs> no, no, that's a no. Affiliate marketers. Okay. Oh, I guess. You're, you're no longer in this world. Yeah, we're You're in this world. Okay. Okay. You see, and that's the reason we do this exercise because you're you're con you're conflating the two. You're 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 thinking. See, even though you're network marketers, you guys are now because you're focused on 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 creating, uh, you know, lead flow on the internet. You've actually gone from here to here. You're no longer really here, even though you think you are. You're actually here because you're not. You're not thinking and caring about a whole new set of different desired outcomes, and, and as a result, you run into different pain, struggles, and problems. So, what else? Technology is one of the software costs. Huh? Huh? Oh. Software costs. So, uh, losing money yeah. or wasting money. Uh, so that, that'll go with software costs too if they're buying tools. Mm -hmm. uh, shiny, ob uh, shiny object syndrome, yeah. It could be both language and you know, pain control. Procrastination. Procrastination? But some, everyone deals with procrastination. So some, something specific. Uh, Confusion. Huh? Confusion. Yeah, no traffic, no leads. So you can do the nose, I mean, if by adding a no in front of a desired outcome, then you've created a pain, right? <laughs> <laughs> so you know you want so they want leads, convergence, convergence. So they have no convergence. <laughs> <laughs> so funnel, huh? Uh, yeah. Funnel. So they want sales funnel. Um, they want a website. What else? Automation. Huh? Automation. 
automation. Well, any any more? Really, you guys don't have any Here, problems? Yeah. Oh, there you go. Mm -hmm. uh, video. We have a video. What about advertising, Beth? Mm -hmm. what, what would we have been in trouble for advertising? Copying or showing your audience? Copyright. Um, uh, not knowing what to say. Uh, not knowing what to say. So, um, uh, yeah. Okay. Lack of copying copy skills. Okay. So, copying skills. Oh, we don't have time. Okay. Uh, All right. So, lack of copying skills. You guys, you guys get it. You guys are dealing with a whole different set of problems in the network, right? Mm -hmm. and, and so, oftentimes, a mistake we make, especially if we were once network marketers, or we are network marketers, but we're doing things a different way. Um, we tend to uh, project our reality onto others. You know, when we're speaking to a, to a prospect, whether it's through automation or even in person, we start using these terms that they don't understand. They, they have no idea what a funnel is, they have no idea what traffic is. And, and even if they know the word traffic, it has a whole different context to them, right? Traffic is being stuck in traffic. <laughs> um, so now, language is going to be a lot of these same terms. So you have traffic, funnels, and so funnels to a regular, if you're speaking of cubicle slate, you see the word funnel, what are they thinking? Cake. Funnel cake or, or, okay. or an actual, like beer. an beer funnel. <laughs> <laughs> I have <my> college. <laughs> so leads. Avatar. So see, leads, mm. the term lead, Versus prospect, a network mark. Most network marketers, you know, almost all of them, will understand what a prospect is. Uh, a smaller subset of network marketers will understand what a lead is. So some companies teach buying leads. Some some companies don't. You know, I used to be an Amway. They never mentioned the word lead. They said prospects because they don't they don't teach buying leads. So so you have to under you know after understand those nuances. So but most. If not all people in the network, in the internet marketing, affiliate marketing space, they know what a lead is. So, uh, like email marketing. Clicks. Clicks. Cost per click. Clicks. Relevancy score. CTR, <laughs> relevancy score, yep. So you start getting into the, some of the technical terms related to doing this. So, and depending on what you're, you're, you're targeting them for, if you're, if you're selling them traffic, you know, you know, if your headline is, or if your one of your flagging statements is, that you have you have crappy click through rates. Mm -hmm. You know, click here to learn how to you know improve that. Something like that. What else? Language. Call to action. action. CTA. Yeah. Call to action. ROI. ROI. Lead magnet. Lead magnet. Mm -hmm. Excellent. Avatar. Avatar. Tripwire. Tripwire, so you guys you get it, but my arms even tight. <laughs> <laughs> so, so again, so again, the reason why we're doing this is because, especially if you're a network marketer that's starting to learn how to how to generate leads on the internet, you've actually transitioned. You're now here. Doesn't mean you're like technically still not a network marketer. You are. It's just you're doing it a different way. But you're, you 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 you've exchanged these problems for these problems. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. You see? Right. So, <laughs> so, and, and I, I, when I made that transition, I was okay. I didn't want to be tied to friends and family. I don't want to be prospecting my waiter and my bartender, um, especially if I was drunk. So, I was like, when I go to the bar, I want to go to the bar. I don't want to be like in prospecting mode. So, I, I, I exchanged these problems for these problems. I still had to work. I still had to work to solve the problems and, and earn my keep, but it's now in a different way. It's, is how do I want to do this? So, and, and then my desires, my desired outcomes changed. So, I mean, I say desired, it's more really like desired outcomes because desire can mean like financial freedom and, you know, travel, and that's pretty much for everybody. Um, and, you know, health, you know, being healthy and all that stuff. I, I'm talking about things that are specific to this, this uh, the activity of building this type of business. Now, finally, let's talk about the cubicle slave. 
Basically, you can say anyone at their job. Uh, but cubicle slave for me, the reason I say cubicle slave is because I actually want to target people that, that work in corporate America. Why do you think I want to target people that work in corporate America versus the Uber driver? They have more money. Yes. Exactly. Is I want to I want to target people that have more disposable income. Uh, specifically, I mean, doesn't mean that somebody came into a funnel that's like you know cutting lawns for a living, um, but they're a lot not less likely to have the money to invest uh, to you know to. You know, my, for my opportunity or whatever I'm, I'm promoting. Um, but, you know, it doesn't mean that, that the lawnmower guy can't come and go to this funnel and learn something and then eventually, you know, benefit from what I have to offer. It's just, I, I want to first and foremost be targeting a cubicle slave because I know they have more disposable income. Um, so, pain and struggles of a cubicle slave. Traffic. Uh, traffic? Traffic. 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 <laughs> 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 that kind of traffic. <laughs> So now it's gone from here to here. <laughs> a, a totally different, different meeting, absolutely. Hate your boss or boss? Hate your boss, yes. Miss their family? Uh, for me, for me it was waking up in the morning. Mm. Alarm clock, long hours. Can't get what about absence from your family? Long hours. Daycare. 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 Someone stole their stapler. Away from family. Away from family. Office politics. Who said it? Somebody just said it. Office politics. Office politics. Office politics. Yeah. Overtime. No raise. Cap on. Cap on. Income. No raise. No raise. No raise. So you guys, you guys, you guys, you guys, we can keep going. <laughs> Have some of you guys worked on a job before? <laughs> <laughs> All right. So this, now desired outcomes. What do they want? Vacation. Vacation. They want more vacation. More money. Stand up. More money. They just want to stand up. They want to kick down the wall in their cubicle. Uh, what, what else? What is, what do they want? Windows. <laughs> windows? <laughs> yeah, for some people. That's really true. Work from home. Work in a kitchen. Work from home. Go be with family. Like, be home with their kids. Yeah. Be off for holidays. Be home. Off of, for holidays, yeah. Work from home or just be home? Just be home. Yeah. What else? Yeah. Have holidays off. Holidays off. Holidays off. Huh? Yeah, I have redundancy, same thing every day. Oh, thank you. Something I can write in words. <laughs> no alarm clock. Huh? No alarm clock. No alarm clock. Or, or, or like waking up. Be impulsive. Huh? Be impulsive. Be able to be impulsive. Vegas. Be able, <laughs> be, be able to, to, to take holidays off. A lot of people that work from cubicles, they do work the holidays, so they don't even get the holidays off. Yeah, so. I guess that's more vacation. Yeah, well. Family time. Time off. Yep, time off. A raise. <laughs> they want a raise. <laughs> have to be accountable for your time with your boss. Uh, is that what they want? Yeah. Is that an outcome? No boss. Work when they no want boss. to. No boss. No boss. So, uh, boss free. Mm -hmm. like make your own hours. Yeah. Recognition. Yeah. Recognition. Get paid what you're worth. Mm -hmm. More money. Anything else? So desired out so bear in mind, they're not aware of these other worlds. So just so before you start talking about uh, you know, some some people may not even be aware that they can fire their boss. They're not they're not that's not even a possibility in their world yet. They hate their boss, but they don't know they can fire them. Because usually the other course the other way around. Uh, but they also, well, they, they fear getting fired, losing their job, you know, unemployment. They worry about their, their pension, losing their pension, losing their retirement. So you can keep going deeper into what pains and struggles uh, uh, a cubicle slave deals with, what desired outcomes they want. You know, they want to be home with their kids, they want more time with their kids, they want to be able to play with their kids. Uh, you can, it's okay to get emotional. Six minutes?
Oh, okay, so finally, okay, so what language that's specific to the, the cubicle slave? And, and if you watch the movie Office Space, you can pretty much fill this in there. Right? <laughs> <laughs> oh. Language. <laughs> Fax machine. <laughs> Copier. Fax. Paper jam. Paper jam. <laughs> DPS reports. Boss. Shirt paper. Salary. Corporate ladder. Salary. Nine to five. Salary. Cor corporate ladder. Time clock. Promotion. Nine to five. Subway. Huh? Subway. Subway. Four hundred one k. Huh? Four hundred one k. Four hundred one k. Commute. Promotion. Promotion. Alarm clock. Lots of very often promotion. Mm -hmm. Health benefits. Benefits. PTO. Huh? PTO. PTO. Yeah. Yeah. Pay time off. Sick time. <laughs> Sick time. Sick time. Sick time. Witness. Huh? Witness training. Ergonomic training. <laughs> soft skills. Most of them soft skills. How do you speak to people? How do you not offend anybody? Sexual harassment. It's like it's actually the okay, they, sexual harassment. <laughs> Like soft skills is actually something they put most people through now. It's like you have to learn soft skills. You need sexual harassment training. Yes. Sexual harassment training. It's it's on the list. Too. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so so you guys you guys get it. So the language that the cubicle slave speaks, and the words they use to identify their problem, pain, and struggles, and and just their reality, is different from the language that an affiliate marketer is going to use. Different from the language from a network marketer. And if you go into go into a different market, the health and wellness market, specifically, what's part of health and wellness? If you're talking to vegans, let's say you go to the vegan market, okay, what are the what pains and struggles are does someone in a vegan diet deal with? What are their desired outcomes? What language are they familiar with? Make sense? Mm -hmm. So now, why why aside from understanding why go through this exercise? Well, now there's now you can write copy. Now you can write. Uh, when you write something for an ad, for an email, for a blog post, whatever, uh, you want to have this up on your wall somewhere or have this to reference. When you write something, you want to revisit what you write and, and say, am I, am I on target? Am I, am I using the words that my target market understands? Or am I, am, I, am I, as an internet marketer, talking to network marketers, am I using terms they, they don't get yet? And if I am, then, then you got to you know, rewrite that. And so, for example, a simple headline template for any 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 post or whatever uh, is how to blank without blank. So, how to blank without blank? What goes here? Desired. Desired. Desired outcome. What goes here? Pain and struggle. Pain and struggle. So you can literally write copy by taking, you don't have to think, you just take words and put them like residual, residual income, boom. Without uh, okay. rejection or cold calling. Check. There's my headline, you see? Now, and then you can expand this headline by using terms that are here. Terms that your market understands that, that, that helps them identify, oh, this is for me. This is how you can target and speak to a certain market without saying of the market's name. I can write a headline without using the term network marketing or MLM, but a network marketer knows I'm speaking to them because I'm using terms they understand that have a context that's specific to them. So those of you who, who talk who like are asking, how do I create a Facebook ad or market on Facebook without using the term network marketing MLM, this is how. And same here. And so so that's pretty much the lesson for today, guys. You guys watching on Facebook, we went a little long. Was that good? Yeah. 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 Who yeah. learned something? All of us. Yeah. Awesome. Even on so, Facebook, they're saying yes. They loved it. They think you're awesome. Best training ever. <laughs> <laughs> I agree. Yeah. <laughs> 
So guys, those of you on, on Facebook land, uh, thank you for joining us today. It was a little bit long, but I hope it was valuable to you. This is the type of impact we make here in a very short period of time for three days uh, at, at our Fast Track for Freedom workshop. If you're a part of Elite Marketing Pro and want to know more about how you can be in this room, talk to your coach and, and they'll, they'll uh, uh, help you understand more about the opportunity that's available for you here. If you're new to our community period, if you have no idea what, who, who I am or what we're about, again, there's a link in the description. You can opt in, uh, register with your email, and I'll send you a 10-day uh, you know, video, video course on how to prospect, recruit, and generate leads on the internet. And more, you know, more specifically, learn how to market your business on the internet. That's it for today, guys. Have an awesome day. Uh, those of you uh, on, on Facebook, hopefully this helped. And everybody here, we're going to get to work still. Yeah. Yeah.